In the annals of American history, tales of fortune and adventure are often intertwined with the country's rapid westward expansion during the 19th century. One such legendary narrative is that of the Comstock Lode, a remarkable discovery that sparked a frenzied rush to Nevada's rugged landscape. The year was 1859 when two prospectors, Henry Comstock and Patrick McLaughlin, stumbled upon a silver ore deposit while searching for gold in what is now Virginia City, Nevada. Little did they know that their seemingly modest find would turn out to be one of the most significant mineral discoveries in American history. Although the claim came to be known as the Comstock Lode, it's worth noting that the majority of the credit goes to McLaughlin, whose name is often overshadowed by Comstocks. The Comstock load was a sprawling network of interconnected veins of silver and gold ore embedded within the Sierra Nevada mountains. News of the discovery spread like wildfire, drawing miners, speculators, and entrepreneurs from across the nation to the newly established Virginia City. The settlement rapidly transformed into a bustling mining hub, teeming with activity and optimism. The discovery of the Comstock Lode marked the beginning of what is often referred to as the Silver Rush. Just as the California Gold Rush had done a decade earlier, this new wave of resource fever brought forth a wave of settlers and fortune seekers, all hoping to strike it rich. The allure of immense wealth spurred the development of mining technology, transportation infrastructure, and urbanization in the region. Virginia City, located atop the Lode, grew rapidly as the center of mining operations. It boasted a diverse population composed of miners, merchants, and immigrants from around the world. This melting pot of cultures and backgrounds contributed to the unique character of the town, which also became known for its wild and lawless reputation. The Comstock Lode's production of silver and gold was staggering. It's estimated that between its discovery in 1859 and the early 1880s, the load yielded over $300 million worth of precious metals, an astronomical sum in those times. This wealth had a profound impact on the national economy, providing much-needed funding for the Civil War and contributing to the growth of industries that relied on silver and gold, such as photography and coinage. However, like many mining booms, the Comstock Lode's prosperity was not eternal. As the easily accessible ore began to deplete, mining became more complex and expensive. Furthermore, the inherent dangers of working in the mines, combined with frequent collapses, fires, and labor disputes, took their toll on the industry. By the late 1880s, the once thriving mining operations were in decline, and Virginia City's population dwindled. Despite its eventual decline, the Comstock Lode's impact on American history is undeniable. It played a crucial role in shaping the development of the American West, contributing to the expansion of the nation's infrastructure and financial resources. Moreover, the Comstock Lode's legacy can be seen in the enduring culture of Nevada and the stories of individual miners who left their mark on the landscape. Today, the Comstock Lode stands as a symbol of the triumphs and challenges inherent in the pursuit of wealth and opportunity. Its tale serves as a reminder that behind every glittering treasure lies a complex narrative of human endeavor, resilience, and transformation, a legacy that continues to captivate our imagination and understanding of the American frontier spirit.